In a previous video, we looked at Daniel chapter 11 verses 1 through 31 and found that it gives an accurate history from 522 BC to 685 CE, skipping forward in groups of 10 kings. We left off in verse 31, which describes the setting up of the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. The Dome of the Rock was built in almost the exact measurements of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre built by the Roman Empire roughly 300 years prior. The Dome of the Rock, therefore, is not a Muslim temple but a Roman temple. It was Pope John III under Justinian I who was the Prince of the Holy Covenant who established the religion of Islam in order to subdue their rival, the Sassanid Empire. At that point, the popes represent the King of the North, and the Ten Kings pattern continues. There were exactly 20 kings between Pope John III and Pope John V, who reigned under Roman Emperor Justinian II, who set up the Dome of the Rock. This represents roughly verses 31 through 35. Ten kings after Pope John V lands on Pope Stephen II, who received the donation of Pepin. The donation of Pepin was extremely important to the Holy Roman Empire because it was a large donation of land in Italy to the Pope. This elevated the position of the Church to a governmental entity. The donation of Pepin is considered by many scholars to be the true start of the Holy Roman Empire, as it's considered the start of the Papal States in Italy. Others have placed the donation of Pepin as the start of the final 1260-year period. This event, the start of the Papal States under Pope Stephen II, seems to represent roughly verses 36 through 39, which refer to the position of the Pope throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Exactly 70 popes after Stephen II, we reach Pope Urban II, who led the First Crusade, which ended in the establishment of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. There were exactly 20 kings between the First Crusade and Pope Innocent IV, who was the first pope to authorize the torture of heretics during the Inquisitions. Thirty kings after Pope Innocent IV, the first Spanish pope was elected, Pope Calixtus III. In 1456, Pope Calixtus III issued the Intercatera to Portugal, which gave to Portugal the alleged right to territories along the West African coast, as well as the enslavement of non-Christians captured there. Ten kings after Pope Calixtus III, Pope Paul III authorized the purchase and possession of Muslim slaves in the Papal States. Thirty kings after Pope Paul III, Napoleon invaded Italy and defeated papal troops, which led to the death of Pope Pius VI in 1799. That was what some consider the end of the Holy Roman Empire. However, exactly ten kings after Pope Pius VI, the Lateran Treaty was signed by Pope Pius XI, which established the sovereign state of Vatican City within Italy. At that point, in 1929, the popes became kings of their own country, and the current pope in 2016 is the eighth king. But the fulfillment of Daniel 11 verses 40 through 45 do not occur in Europe, they occur in America. Before Pope Pius VI was expelled from Italy by Napoleon, he established the first Archiepiscopal of America in Baltimore, Maryland. It's not a coincidence that the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., Maryland, was finished the very next year after Napoleon removed the Pope from Italy. The Capitol building in D.C. is an obvious replica of St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. It is the tabernacle of his palace that was planted between the seas, between the Atlantic and the Pacific, in the glorious, hallowed mountain. We're told there are seven mountains on which Babylon sits, and we're told Babylon sits on the whole earth. Therefore, the seven mountains represent the seven continents. North America was the glorious, hallowed continent at that time, and the Pope planted his tabernacle there, a replica of St. Peter's Basilica, revered as the most hallowed place in the United States. The Bible tells us the seventh head of the beast will be wounded but then healed. It also tells us the seventh king is also the eighth king. This means, as we've discussed in previous video, that the Holy Roman Empire is the United Nations, whose headquarters are also in the United States, in New York City. In 1947, the United Nations established the modern country of Israel, the boundaries of which leave out ancient Edom, Moab, and Ammon. The Holy Roman Empire did not dissolve in 1800. It relocated to America, which is part of Babylon the Great, the great city spiritually called Egypt. The oppressor in America was never white people. It has always been the dragon and the beast. For more information and proof that we're in the final years, you can watch the playlist Bibles Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue, linked here and below this video on YouTube. Thank you to those who support this work. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you next week.